stuff going to spawn, right? Uh, yes. yes. Do you got the check-in call time? Uh, no, not really. Okay, at, at after five minutes, at 07.50, let's check in. The radio. Oh, yeah, we'll do my best. Hey guys, uh, you can uh, go ahead and uh, spawn. Happy. Yep. See you up there, good luck. Chief, who got up? Chief, connect ground air supply. Chief, turn on the ground power. Ground air supply is now connected. Copy. Ground power is now on. Okay, Jester, let's start. Okay, Jester, let's start. Okay. ICS comm check. 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 Roger. Light test. Good. I think we should good. Instruments. You have an armed ejection seat, buddy. Can you get closing canopy? Check. Ready to start. All right, complete harmonics. Looks like we got only Sidewinder. Now I think they actually seems like they loaded my, my flight plan after all. I guess you can load and load the uh, full sparrows if you want. But don't take full fuel, just take sparrows, do not take fuel. Because yeah, we are overweight. So we have to take 500 pounds less. Chicken pressure.
Chief, disconnect gunfire. Chief, we're good. Chief, turn off the ground power. Chief, disconnect ground air supply. Check electricity power. Here, six one. Three six two, one way to five four five. Keep it. Yes, we have my flight plan now. What's wrong? What's wrong? Can you come again? Uh, Spear 6261, we have my flight plan. The original flight plan I, uh, I designed. Uh, for your information, the waypoint 4 is your surface target. Waypoint 4 is the runway west-east. So you can ask Jester to punch that as a surface target. And uh, Timber Sour. Ah, ready to taxi. Request rearming. Let's take a time. Copy. Ready for nothing?
6261, are you ready for now check? Copy. It's 3.1. 122 for 81. Chester, select steel point two. Roger. Switching to steel point two. Steel point two. One one nine for one one zero. Chester. Chester, select initial point. E yep. Switching to initial point. Okay. Initial point. Initial point is one zero five for one hundred fifty four miles. Chester. Chester, select steer point three. Chester, select steer point three. Roger. Switching to steer point three. Steer point three. Steel point three is one zero seven for one hundred eighty seven. Chester, select surface target. Chester, select surface target. Chester, select surface target. Alrighty, switching to surface target. Okay, surface target is one uh, zero four for one hundred eighty-nine. If you used waypoint four, then you're gonna have slightly different. <laughs> yeah, but I got the uh, got still no where the the moment surface target in. I switch it now out for waypoint four. Right, copy. I mean because we are dumb bombing, it's not that important. It's more for the laser guiding bombs. Okay, <coughs> also let's check fixed point, bullseye. Chester, select fixed point. Chester, select fixed point. Chester, select fixed point. Yep, switching to fixed point. And fixed point 110 for 142. 142. Do you also have this sometimes that the uh, gesture menu locks out and you, when you press the button it doesn't do anything? I don't use the gesture menu, I do it all via uh, Wacom. Okay, yeah, well sometimes my keyboard like is not responding, like it, I press A for gesture menu it doesn't do anything. Or if I press anything else for anything else too. Really annoying. Second arm mode. All right, Spear Six. Select reference point, Steep and One. Chester, select Steep and One. Chester, select Steep and One. Coming down. Roger that. Switching to Steer Point One. Reference Steer Point, Steep and One.
Presto tun, tak tak an. Mr. Toon, tack, tack an. Chester Toon, tack, tack an. Roger. Okay, BRC is two five zero. Trident, Pierre, you can go ahead. We are ready to go. Um, I need a couple of more minutes because I had to respawn, so you can go first. Right, copy. Spear 6, line up. Okay, um, Spear 6 1, I'm gonna taxi to cut 2, you can go to cut 3.
Okay, hooking up to Cat 2. All right, launching. Showing nails four o'clock. Nails, 8 o'clock. Lining my compass. Why is he got lights on? Tomka, check flaps. up nails six o'clock and oh nails seven o'clock are you airborne launching right now right good starting climbing and turning to the left. Switching to the art stick. Just a tune, tack tack on. Roger. Uh, they just lost. There is a friendly F 14, 8 o'clock, 5 miles. 
Did we just lost the ship Takan? Do you have Takan to the mother? Right, yeah, to say. Uh, it's back again. Okay, I'll start some miles. Friendly, contact, 8 o'clock low, 5 miles. Heading directly to waypoint 1, angels 10,000 climbing. Going down to 250 knots. Uh, we're still on Taiwan, Prime? Uh, yeah. There's push, push button free. Come on, turn the other button. Button free. Uh, button free, Roger. Jester, push button free. Chester, push button free. Congrats. Strike 107. Up for checks. Strike 103, up for checks. Alright. I guess there's no one here, so we can move to Overlord. So we're uh, push button 7. Uh, spear, 16. Corrections, yeah. Chester, push button 7. Chester, push button 7. Chester, push button 7. You bet. Chester, select fix point. Chester, select fix point. Oh my god, seriously, what the fuck? Chester, select fix point. Chester, select fix point. You got it. Switching to fixed point. Spear 6 1. Overlord, Spear 6, flight, in trail, currently pulls 270, correction, 26, 275 for 134, Angel 16. Check it in. Yeah, you see, I pressing K to hide this presets, and I doesn't work. Just doesn't work. What the fuck? I believe I'm visual on you a little bit higher. I'm on your uh, what five o'clock low. Six one copies. No job. No visual. Uh, it looks like nails, uh, 7 o'clock. Well, I think it's you. Might be on for our check. Where are you closing in on me? Two miles? Yep. Chester, select steel point one. So what's your speed? Still 250? 250, yeah. Chester, select steer point one. You bet. Switching to steer point one. Okay, I have some problems with my voice attack and my keyboard, so I'm gonna swear a lot. Copy. I have some problems with my brain. I don't know, like my keyboard stopped working for some reason. Like I press K to hide the keyboard and nothing happens. I have my, my GPS, I want to turn it on for, for the clock, 
know what's on the button that doesn't work anymore, so I don't know what's going on. Leveling off at flight level to six. For sure, she's heavy. Yep. We have to refuel now, don't we? Okay, speeding up to three zero zero knots. Uh, uh, there's a friendly zero nine five seventy eight miles. Angels. Copy slowing out to two five zero. Okay, repeat last. Heads up, nails, six o'clock. Okay, go to cruise if you join up. Well, that was uh, 300 already, so I was overshooting. I'm climbing over. No, I'm 250 now. I'm 250 knots. Ah, okay. Oh, you asked me to slow down. Are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. All right, speeding up. Guess I'm stalling with this weight. Chester, tune, tack, tack on. Chester, tune, tack, tack on. Yeah, this fucking keyboard. Jester, tune, tack, tack on. Jester. Spear 6, Wolf 2. Wolf 2, Spear 6, go ahead. Hey guys, uh, it looks like the tankers are not here. Uh, we'll have to do the mission without uh, refueling. If after the mission you can make it back to the boat, go to the boat. If you cannot divert Ramat David, how come? If no fuel, divert Ramat David, Spear 6. Very good, and oh, uh, can you guys come up on COM 1.5 if not already? 5, copy. Yep. Okay, push button 5. Chester, push button 5. Spear 6, check in. Check in on Pry. Spear 6, 2. 
Okay, I climb a bit over the mission block, descending. Yeah, the outer part doesn't even know how to fly this thing. <coughs> Autopilot does not want to fly with so much weight. Tester, <laughs> select steer point two. Uh, speed is three one zero. Tester, select steer point two. Tester, select steer point two. Okay. Switching to steer point two. Reference steer point two. Spear six. Now you see I'm pressing the fucking neighbor button and it doesn't pop out. What the fuck? Roger. 
Uh, well, I need to push the overlord now. Yeah, it's main now. Right, uh, push button 7. Taken on pry. Spear six one chicken. Overlord, Spear 6 1 flight, checking in, Bulls 250 for 038, Angels 26, on station. Gear 6 Overlord, Spear 6 1 flight, checking in, Bulls 250 for 038, Angels 26, on station. Roger, switching to Spear 2. There you go, seems to work now better. Alright, you know, I'm turn enter the, pa uh, the holding pattern to the left. Six o'clock and um, nails seven o'clock. Switching to your right, right. Okay. Now wait for you until you complete your maneuver. Six. He's locking us 9 o'clock and uh, um, nails 5 o'clock. Sorry, this autopilot is going haywire. I've got nails four o'clock. That's a negative no contact. Can't do that. Friendly. F-14, 9 o'clock high, 2 miles. Alright, 
Five nails, five o'clock. Uh, wait, I found it. He's, uh, your bra to six, seven, uh, 170 miles. Oh, I got uh, nails on her nose. 12 yeah, o'clock. Copy that. Try and five two of So if you ground stabilize your TID and you extend the view to see the target area, there is also data link targets. This is a no go. Set host. And all players okay. will slow down as follows. One times SA6. Holds I 080 for 13 miles. Active. Um, we've uh, got great. 9 o'clock. So we got one active SA6. Marked by a defense point. I repeat, defense point is the SA6. So do not go to the defense point. It's the cross out circle. Yeah, it's IP. It's IP for other flights. <coughs> so it looks we are passing right over it. Well, the Hornets got harms, right? Yep. Well, uh, well, again, we are the last one to the party. We just follow the rest, guys. Fair, I would just go south of it, to be honest. It's gonna be better for us. It's just everyone wants to go north of it. For some reason. 
Ah, you lead me to glory. Okay, I guess because we cannot fly over Jordan, that's why. Yeah, I might be right. Oh, I'm showing nails 11 o'clock. And uh, nails 8 o'clock. Uh, I'm showing nails uh, nine, uh, 10 o'clock. What's your state? 14.9. Copy, 14.8. Okay, we got dirt at 2 o'clock. Okay, we're still above the ladder. The thing is, we cannot really slow down, because we cannot fall out of the sky. I mean, we can try to go a little bit slower and throttle now. Try to conserve fuel. We've, uh, we've got nails 1 o'clock and um, nails 5 o'clock and uh, um, nails 11 o'clock. Uh, 
looks like nails, uh, 7 o'clock. Um, spike, 4 o'clock. Uh, we got nails right on our six, and uh, nails five o'clock, and uh, nails eleven o'clock. Spear 6, missile prep on. I repeat, missile prep on.
All right, we are 5,000 pounds over the ladder. Actually, correction, we are uh, 4,000 pounds. Considering we are not, we are not supposed to fight air to air, so. Let's hope for the best. Exactly. Showing nails four o'clock. Even though I would love to try out those M7Ps. Let's try five. And. Spike F fourteen three six. One minute to push. Repeat. One minute to push. Double Lord, Spear 6, Springsteen. Chester, select initial point. Okay, switching to initial point. Spear 6, referenced waypoint initial point. Alright, Spear 6, set your air to ground ordinance. Six, 
Chester, select ordinance. Too bad. Uh, personally, I'm using the ripple setting as well. Chester, ripple settings. Chester, ripple settings. You got it, boss. Chess, switching to left hand. Six one. And two and six one is set. Spear 6 1 fence in in the green tanks dry state 12 on 9. See the data link waypoints? Right, copy. Um, nails, uh, seven o'clock. Yeah, don't forget to s uh, s select your sidewinder to uh, neutral. <laughs> On the stick, because otherwise you will not drop bombs. Make sure you didn't select Sidewinder or Phoenix or anything like that. It is fast slowing down to 480 ground speed. It's going to be case 330. Whoa, oh, I got dirt at 1 o'clock. Six two six one, your runway heading is zero seven five. Zero seven five.
Spear 6, reference waypoint, surface target. Uh, I'm showing uh, nails 10 o'clock. Switching to surface target. Six two, you're clear to break off to attack your runway. Same, but six to try to keep to the schedule still. Try to that one, SA eight nails from presumably from Kalkala. Yeah, okay, never mind. The time on stage, time on target is zero nine zero two, so we got uh, three minutes. Hey, Thanos, how are you doing? Track 5 is Boeing, repeat track 5 Boeing. Uh, right now you're striking the runway. This is the target. Six to what visual on target. Six one. Six one visual on target. Spear 6, music on. Roger. Spear 6, music on. Spear 6, to music on. Move to Nils uh, 23, uh, by 350. Let's hope those F-18s do their job. Okay, there's dirt at eight o'clock. Copy six one. Blood, eight I'm watching. Looks like nails one o'clock. Yeah, we'll still we'll running about, uh, concurs, uh, seems like two times chopper pretty slow speed, uh, nine zero ignore. Okay. 
Wolf 2, back up SA8 at target. Spear 6 1, running in. Six two six spear six one egressing south. Six one six on target. Hits on target. Spear six full two second. Spear six Jackson egressing south. Dropping flares, this one. Six, one, switching to air to air. Heading to waypoint three. Now there's dirt at two o'clock. Six two air to air and OB six is coming up. Copy. You're closing in on the yard state. Regroup at waypoint three, Angels two five. Chester, select steel point three. Roger. Switching to steel point three. Just copy the Jackson from Spear Six and Haller uh, three. Confirm one more time. Seven five one contact bearing zero one zero four forty. Spear Six one on waypoint three. I repeat, waypoint three. Angels two five. Chester, set for us. Switch data link to the ship if you don't have it. Yeah, Spear 6, confirm you are Jackson. Spear 6, six Jackson. Yep, that's Very good at 11 o'clock. 99, uh, Nero, uh, okay, nails, 2 o'clock. Yeah, 2 o'clock. Spear 6. Spear 6, Rage. Power 3, Rage. Okay, uh, Spike. Overlord, 20 top of group. Hey, Jester, scan right. Chester, select initial point. Okay, switching to initial point. Spear 6, reference waypoint, initial point. Trident 5, Overlord, you have uh, 4 contacts heading uh, right towards your off your node, 13 miles. Trident 5, Fox 3010 for 10, the Atlantic South. And Trident 5, Overlord, uh, additional group, you're heading uh, 300, 24 miles. I got nails, 4 o'clock. Oh, I got mud, 4 o'clock. Overlord, Wolf 2, uh, say bra for me to try to find. I'm not just bike bills, Wolf 2. Uh, you're bra, and as a 6, my 015. 2 cent, 1 cent. Check right. Double error, Spear 6, SA6 side is active. Alright, those are some nails, 2 o'clock. Current 5, we'll see if you need any help. 
be good. Or two. Uh, Trident 5, Overlord, yes. Again, four uh, 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 all around you, basically. Speed. Three three zero. You're heading zero three one two thirteen twenty five miles two times make twenty three merge with Trident five one. Copy water. Or Trident five four request moving up. Merged. And Spear six Overlord your bra zero six zero fifteen miles one times make twenty three hot. Spear 6, check right, check right. Angel to the 17. Check right. Right, right. Five, one overlord, bandits now, you're at 6 o'clock, 3 miles. Copy that. Locking, target, 8 miles. Tally, bogey, 060, zero, zero, 8 miles. Spear 6, Fox 1, Fox 1. Hall of 3, continue heading 064, 18 miles, 2 times, make 23. Angel 3, they're on the deck. Spear 6, splash 1, make 23. Spear 6, contact faded. Good kill. Angel 1, Fox 3, bandit, 7 miles. Copy. Hey, just a range. Hey, just a recent radar. Overlord, Spear 6, requesting bug it up. Spear 6, Overlord, uh, heading 065, 12 miles. Two times, big country, three, hot, back. Check right left, check left. Scan low. Hey, just a range for scan. Just a range for scan. Chester, scan 50. miles, one enemy merged with. Okay, scratch that, contact trade. Chester. You're clear, contact shaded in your region. He's on a no spike, 12 o'clock. Howl of three, then. Defending, defending, defending. Bandit, Four miles. Easy, four ninety. We're way fire to me. Howl of three, Two times to make twenty three. I'll take up. We'll see what I see in that two splashes. My zero four zero. You're heading three zero zero five miles. Closing fast. Two times. Six two, report. One time to make twenty three. Six He's right behind us. Six Angels, six climbing. Okay, we'll see. Confirm splash. Do some of that pilot shit. Um, now you're heading to the rush. Right. The bandit is dead. They launch on you. Defend. Break, break, break. One o'clock. Spear six. Contact faded. Splash one. Okay, we clear. Howler 2, 1, Trident 5, 1, you're still clear, no Thank contact. Thank you. Okay, head to initial point, head to initial point. Howler 3, you're clear as well, the contact, the bogey left you. He's now in your 296, 10 Just a drop tank. Just a, check the same tanks. 13, uh, okay, they're down low, 9.8. Wolf 2, 2, contact is now in your 9 o'clock. One yeah, mile. six one eight ten six. Sixteen. It's almost your ass. Okay, uh, what now you're six one one. Six one got uh, got one two. Spear six overlord contact now. Your zero six one. He's going to our six man. Check six right, one. check right. So I got splash behind us. Checking around. Recommendation um two o'clock. Uh, he's, he's smoking. West going down. Uh, nails, 11 o'clock. And Hall of 3, contact is your uh, 300 
12 o'clock. Uh, 11 miles. Watch it, friendly. No, look at that, that's it. Pier 6 merged. 12 o'clock. Our 3 has got uh, bandit left uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, yeah, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Copy, breach, what do you mean? The whole play has overlooked. He's on the phone, ain't gonna get better than that. Zero six two, XD five, Got him? Uh, Fox one. 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 Uh, Six two, I am at your right wing. All, all players overlord, I recommend uh, flow two eight in Cairo for um, ten miles. Same altitude. Three two o'clock. Rage, uh, rage, caution. SA fifteen is uh, just east of uh, east of Bulls. Overlord, Spear six. Splash three times MiG twenty three rage. We're at three eighty. Two stop line. Took five stretch. And overload is missing uh, two planes as of now, teams are wolf two two and try and five two. Can you confirm wolf two one? Wolf two one has neg a negative radar contact with wing wingman. Overlord, spear six, I think I saw one F eighteen down. Six two, what's your angels? Now he's blocking us, seven o'clock. What is your angels? I'm on your nose. Eleven o'clock. Go pal. Check the data link. Spear 6, large. Just trying to avoid that SA6. Fly Spear 6, west immediately. 270, Spear 6. Uh, Hollow 3, fly 270 and clear to range. Hollow 3, 270 and clear to range. Move to 1, same for you. Move to 1. Spear 6, 2, 6, 1, stay your state. Body, body, of the He's going back to mother, who's diverted. Status 8 point 3. 6 1. Perfect, flight 5 1 can make it. Copy, have a holler. Uh, stand by, still checking. We might, we will make it, but we 6 1, a switching tack and mother. Uh, just a tune, tuck tuck in. There's a there's a Viking there for you. Uh how three then returning to mother. Very good, spear six, stop speed. Try and break, try and five, turn left heading uh, uh speed three, seven, uh zero. four zero zero slowing down. Three zero zero for turn five. Damn, I can see fucking free carriers. Spear six, here you got a big yeah. mother. And Spear 6, music off. Speed 300. Zero zero. Speed 
Spear 6, go for Spear 6. Are you gonna make mother? Or do you need to defer? Uh, stand by. Roger, switching to home base. I think we can make it now. Got no joy on, on attack on mother. Uh, yeah, copy, I got home base. Uh, uh, we Spear 6 is going to make it to mother. Flying 280 now. 260. Okay, got mother and data now. Uh, what airspace was that for Wolf 2? We should go south. We we are going in the wrong airspace. Alright, let's go out to 2.2. You got it. And sorry, Trident 5, uh, I may have forgot about you. Uh, turn uh, 230 for 20 miles and then resume on navigation. So, uh, 230 for 30 miles. For 20, 2-0 miles. For 2-0 miles. Uh, he's locking us 7 o'clock. Spear 6, what's up? Six, one, thanks we'll out. Thanks, dry. Th thanks, gun. State 7.2 all green. Spear 6 negative, still no joy on Tekken. Just follow the contrails. Spear 6. Check right. Sure, the top of that lake, it's about heading at 275, 280. 275. That. 
Prov alert. Spear 6. Confirm distance to matter 1 to 8 miles. Right, copy. Have it on data link. Okay, I, fi I found the mother on data link. Tune data link to uh, carrier CV73. You still have no Takan, right? Okay, I got the shell on Takan. Do you want to speed up and then refuel quickly for landing? I mean, probably will be. I don't know. Oh, well, maybe not. Is pushing Marshall. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Yeah, and we should be right on time as well. Perfect. Well then, we have a lot of action today, don't we? So what, we got two kills? Yeah, I got one. Pretty close range. This 9P works beautifully. Adam Stalinium. Oh, 
Marshall. I'm still 100 miles away. Fine. Push button 16. Last. Don't get confused, better track down, that's uh, from the good hook on one of this. Good hook on two. Nice place of jumping off the, uh, the stuttering of the carrier. <laughs> no, no, we had that before. That's actually uh, not the reason. The carrier I place where you started from, that's uh, good. It's alone. It's just that there are three other groups on top of each other. Uh, you can uh, set your data link to the carrier and then hook it in the real seat and then turn out the jester so you will have poor man stuck on. Last. So is that a red one, 60 miles? Yeah, the boat is called CV-73, no, it is not, and there are other carriers na named Naval something, but you just want CV-73. I'll have to check again. Oh shit, hold on, the fucking autopilot. We are 80 miles out. And we got 20 minutes. Perfect. So, which one is off this thing, is it? There is a one carrier called CB73. Yes, the other carriers are called naval something. Uh, yeah, yeah, now I see it. Okay, and then you can uh, jump into Rio seat, if you know, and uh, hook the carrier, and then disable Jester, and then you will have poor man tackle. And Spear 6 2, stay a state. What is Autopilot doing this? It's just pitch uh, ups uh, running. What's, uh, what's the idea with the, the tankers being uh, way off, uh, off the boat? Is it because of the overlaps? 
Do you need to stack up even more in case two? Yeah, it would be nice. Yeah, it's constantly pitching up for some reason. Marshal 107, holding hands with 103, marking mums 084427, low state 59. Marshal copy, so 59, I guess you're staying up, you don't go to the tanker. Firm? Can I? You don't go to the tanker with uh, state 5.9, I guess. Negative, Spear 6, questing uh, BRC. Copy, uh, yeah, case 1 recovery, BRC is at 250. Look at this, my other pilot is climbing for some reason. And ultimate is 3004, I think. 3004, 107. Okay, descent. How much G's did you pull? Eight. Yeah, me too. Perfect. So our reciprocal of 250 it's 0, 7, 0. Okay. 
Hot mic, hot mic. Uh, Marshal 205 requesting switch from boom. 205, clip switch. Leveling off at 3000. One zero seven holding pattern angels free. Uh, traffic one o'clock. Six to tally. That's six one. Damn it. Not used to being one. Or is autopilot so weird because of the wind? It's 30 knots after all. Did you hear? Recover time 5-5, five five, so... Will be pretty low, but should be to make them uh, doable. I'm state 6.2 now. Yeah, I mean we are not the first ones to land, are we? Holy shit, this wind is crazy. <coughs> Marshall, one zero seven, see you ten. State, switch down. One zero seven, low state, five point five. Recovery time, 5-5. Five, five. One zero seven. Push, uh, button one. Chester, push, button one. We're Joker! Okay. Uh, wait, do you see the ship? I'm at Titan now, it's uh, 1 o'clock. Heading 280. Oh, there, okay, Titan, Titan. Titan, So we need to go a little bit right to come over point 0.1. Yeah, just the, the data link is not, it's not accurate. Interesting. Uh, right I'm not sure. No, no, looks like a good one. 107 tower. Tower 107, go ahead. Uh, 107, muscle angels 2, clipped it. Uh, he's walking up. Angels 2, 107. Descending. Oh, fuck, are we going to be first? Shit, I've never done this before. Yeah, we got clear to Angels 2. We did? Yes. Okay, come on. Body spike, F14. God damn it. Is that you? Are you locking me? Thank you. Uh. 
Okay, so how much time do we need from uh, commencing? Like two minutes, three minutes? One minute, thirty seconds? Yeah, I assume one minute, thirty seconds. Okay. Or was it two thirty? One, one thirty, two thirty? I'm not sure anymore. Uh, it looks like nails. Uh, well, as I said, I never broke the deck, so uh, it's gonna be fun. This goddamn wind. I'm flying on manual right now. Did we lose a bunch of planes because there are so how many guys missing? I don't know. What I know is that deck is open at 5 5 and we are first to go. I don't see my flight vector, it's just to the side. I'm sorry for that. But it's the same, I'm flying manual and I'm looking around, so... It's hard to do like, two things at the same time. Ah, uh, sorry, don't get it. I want someone flying, I think. As I'm saying that I am going up and down because I'm flying manually right now and I also have to look around for other planes. So this data link ranging will not work at all because <laughs> because we are three miles off. Well, good to know, I guess. Shit, we got a spike five o'clock and nails seven o'clock. Okay, he's locking us. Seven o'clock. Friendly, S3, 11 o'clock. Six miles. Two zero five tower. Sorry, two zero five. Go ahead. New 
recovery time is uh, five five. Five five. Good copy. Six to your state. Traffic, 12 o'clock. Um. Whoa, okay. See some uh, aerobatics. It's 1 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Zero zero. Uh, correction. Do you see me at your nine o'clock? Keep the comm clear. This frequency clear. Two zero five. Go for top. Uh, confirm carrier is roughly uh, to the west of my position. I wanted to stress you out, man. You did great, by the way, so nothing to be ashamed about. Start commencing. I think we're gonna be a little bit late. Okay, descending. N99 Tower, I uh, see recovery time is in one and a half minutes, yet nobody is uh, commencing at this time. Uh, seven, commencing. Tower B at 
advised that 220 is not able to perform a standard pattern with the current uh, flight performance here. Yeah, tower copies, that's why you're saying it, Angel 4, you both get it straight in. 220. 205, 220, confirm you both have talk onto the boat. Uh, 205 looks like timber sweet. 220 timber uh, sour, I got a different tack and reference. Okay, but 205 can lead. Okay, proceed 10 miles behind the boat. Which would be zero seven and zero. We're being locked, 6 o'clock, and nailed, and come on, 7 o'clock. Two two zero tower, can you check if your flap's still working? Uh, tower 220, my flaps are currently locked in the down position. Copy, safe date. Uh, 220, state uh, 1. Point two and dropping fast, so I'm leaking fuel. Also, my landing gear is fucked. Wings, when you have to hook down, get down flaps down the other sea out, speedboat well, out, okay, spoiler like off, hammer secure, down. SA is on state for yeah, okay. uh, two, two, zero, copy controlled injection. Let me know when you want me to pull up uh, beside you. I mean, you're dropping fuel fast, right? So you need to make a quick. Yeah, copy, confirm, and uh, 220 clear to, to dive in and eject alongside. Stand by. Proceed uh, 5 miles behind the boat. Angel 3. 220. Hall of 3. Scratch that. Okay, yeah, watch out the wind, it's uh, two, one very zero hard. Seven, one, 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 and 103, expedite the landing, you need to make it uh, fast. I actually scratch that, 111, um, go back in the stack, Angel 2, clear to climb immediately. 107, 103, uh, clear to land, ASAP. Tower 220, do you want that ejection on the right side of the boat? Uh, negative, on the port side. We got a spike, 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Great job, man. Eh?
Uh, not really. But this wing is just fucking crazy. Whoa, what the hell was that? Oh, that was the Hornet, okay. Free. Super sorry, it's gonna be uh, there in 30 seconds. Yeah, me too. This wind is just fucking crazy, man. But I got free, free wire. Yeah, I was way long in groove and uh, I was way too high. Oh, damn, I ran the stupid master. Can you go a little bit forward then? Okay, no, yeah, perfect. I keep turning. Should fit, I think. If you just keep turning to the right. But you can do it, it's just turn to the right. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Yeah, it's good. Good job, man. Good job. Yeah, we are in one piece, yes. And we got a bunch of kills, and we accomplished the airstrike mission. Okay. Nice overhead. Yeah, performance wise, yes. Tower copies, uh, you cleared for the approach. Stay 1.2, angels 1.2 until you intercept glide path. Dirty up at 5. Chief, to the first power. Alright, shutting down engine. What?
Damn, I forgot to connect to ground power. There we go, finally the F-18s decide to show up. Tomcat well, what the hell? But to be fair, you are jumping on the ship. Interesting. Even I can see it. <laughs> the JVD device, nice.
right for lineup, and you're high. Oh, is it because they're doing case two? That's why they're coming cold again. So, a little high. Oh, send a Oh my god. Oh my god, tell me what the hell you did with that poor plane. Uh, you never blame Kak, you always blame the pilot. Alright guys, see you in debri debrief. wasn't too bad, was it? So, I'm be there. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, was it? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. A little bit in the, in the uh, end when all the MiGs showed up. I was a little bit tumbleweed, but I guess we sorted it out. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I didn't saw the last two guys before. So I cannot send my live there. It's the Jester was screaming at me. He's right behind us. He fired. Stuff like that. Yeah, I was lucky to see them because uh, I mm -hmm. was always behind you and a little bit up. So then when you turned away, I, I saw them and I saw the the missile trails and uh, where I knew where to look for. Yeah, that's and then there was this one thing. I guess it was a, t a Fox Two. He took a Fox Two or whatever and kept flying. I I scratched him off as as a splash and didn't pay attention. And there was a guy that showed up an hour back. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. These are tough. But even my, when I hit him with M7, he was still kind of in one piece. So I was not sure if he was still alive or not. Yeah, and the missile worked good. Uh, I, I lost one uh, uh, M7, so that thing never connected. But uh, the other ones went well. So Yeah, I shot mine at, like right at mean range. I don't know, it was two or three miles. Yeah, that was the last one for me too, because I only had the, the Fox 1 left and uh, he was pretty close, so I slowed down a little to get some range on him. Yeah. Okay, let's jump up. Yeah. Yep. All right, are you here? Yes, I can uh, stream it if we want. Yes, please. Source. I think I, I get the full full resolution going on. You're streaming? Yeah. Yeah, because you only you showed up later, right? So, oh, all yeah. right, guys, that was that was interesting. <laughs> lots of lots of stuff happened. It started out with an issue with the um, with the mission file itself because of last minute changes and errors in the STMs. Uh, Mav tried to scramble uh, a fix to it last moment, and because of it, 
he he couldn't see or didn't have time to see that there were tons of duplicates in the missions and the tankers were, uh, were fucked as well. Uh, so a good lesson for us all is one, let's try and stay away from last minute changes as much as possible. And two is uh, when you do an SCM, you have to be 100%, 1000% sure there's no other units in the SCM except for your own. So always check the unit list that your your flight is the only only flight in there because that's what caused a lot of problems um, uh, today. Anyway, I guess that's a lesson learned. Um, uh, I'll just run through it, I guess, and uh, see what happens. Maybe we can skip the end, Red. What do you think? <laughs> Is that a good idea? It, it be... <laughs> it's too, no, it's no, too late no. to see the whole recovery, right? <laughs> no, we'll, we'll fuck it. We'll do it. Anyway, we start up. I don't think we had. Uh, we we were able to use all of the cats, which was uh, a nice surprise. Um, not number four. Number four would not respond. Even oh. after number three launched. Yeah, or it might have, but but it didn't. Uh, even though I was where I wanted to be, it didn't give me anything. So I turned around and took number three. But number maybe three. if I stood more behind it, it would activate. I don't know. Yeah, you have to stay behind the JBD. Yeah, number four worked for me. Okay. Uh, first of all, we had a, a deserter. <laughs> <laughs> I, when, when, I, I when don't know what up. happened. I had my INS, which was flipped 180 degrees. Oh, wow. uh, I oh, see all the uh, data link contacts, and they were about 180 degrees uh, offset. Uh, oh, wow. And so I was lost in the middle of the sea. I didn't know where I were, <laughs> where I was. And yeah. That sounds like my INS problem. Well. Nope. So your hudding, your your HUD was also showing the wrong way, 180. No, uh, after uh, I saw it, the magnetic heading was correct, but uh, at first I was relying, uh, I was relying on uh, the INS to do the navigation, and I got lost. And then I tried putting in, inserting again all the waypoints. And uh, yeah, uh, at the end, uh, they found me. <laughs> I could, I was able to rejoin Silver after a while, and yeah, and then everything went fucking anyway. So, okay, okay, it was, yeah. it was interesting. I had to zoom all the way out to find you. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> yeah, I, I was sure I was, uh, I, I didn't. Because I was also uh, trying to get the tech of the tanker, because I think I was one of the first to, to try to uh, to tune to the tech to the tanker. And I didn't find it. Okay, and I just I really I didn't know what I was really. All right. <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, when you called it, and I did a little uh, head calculation and. Uh... Uh, we thought you would be here on time, if not almost on time. So I just stuck to the original push times, and I thought worst case you're going to be in a ten, in like a ten mile trail with your lead, which is fine. Yeah, that's what happened. In fact. Yeah. So that's I think what happened. As soon as we turned around to push, we saw you were like ten or fifteen miles away. So uh, anyway, we just passed fifty, which uh, I think forty nine was our push time actually. And, forty nine. Uh, yeah. And uh, off we go with the silver right behind us. So I think we uh, we all pushed on time here. Uh, who was next at 50? I th nope, 51 Spear 6, right? Uh, yeah, 52. And you guys, oh, are you there? Yeah, a little bit late, I would say. 52 about. Is that, is that right? You yeah, guys were a little bit late, right? Probably. All right. Yeah, which I think, which I think is just about a minute, and that's just a little bit too much. So if you can kind of keep an eye on how long a turn takes next time, uh, that would be nice if you keep it a little bit closer to the uh, schedule. All right. And then there was a Howler three pushing at the same time as well. All right. At least all the strikers were together. Uh, I didn't see uh, much. On scope, but this time I actually looked uh, quiet. I did see on my SA page an SA6 and a 15 site, which I kind of ignored because yeah. we wouldn't know that was there. So we just flew uh, to waypoint three, the IP, which was close no, to it. Th that, that one was never intended to be there. That's another SDM fuck up. 
Okay, that's fine. I just ignored it and I thought I'll deal with it if it yeah. comes up. Just pretend Basically two SA6 and two SA15 sites on top of each other. I just then with combined arms just set them all fire hold and so they never went active again after uh, initially. Cool, that's smart. Okay, and after the IP, um, uh, Panzer and I turned uh, for our station, which is somewhere over here pretty close to the target so we could just uh, dive down. We were going to set up a, a CRC-ish thing on orbit, but uh, Silver was already calling in Nils SA-8, which I saw for a second and turn, turned in for it, but then it turned off again. Math, thank How you. How could that happen? <laughs> yeah, I, thought, so I funny. suspected as much. Uh, so I waited a little bit, then turned off, but that time uh, Panzer was turning in again. So uh, yeah, the, the fun kind of started. Oh. Yeah, there was like combined arms was working like a charm, not. <laughs> I couldn't control the SAMs properly. That is why uh, they never, sh or the SA8 never shot. Oh, wow, there's the MiGs already. Mm. Okay. The MiG 21s? Uh, 23s here. Oh, yeah, the, ignore these. They, they weren't behaving like I couldn't control units properly. They wouldn't just accept any waypoints. They was, right. would set waypoints like 100 miles away. Even though I never clicked there, it was just. But a mess. you know, if you put a new waypoint and their uh, triggers or whatever behavior settings you set them, they reset. They yes, them. I know, I know. Yeah. But that was not a problem. It, like they were uh, standard units, right. anyway. But interesting, um, they stay very low. You see. Yeah, I set them so low because I just wanted them to disappear from your radar and fly away. <laughs> and, and they did because I only picked up this uh, helicopter. Right. Uh, at this point, I just put it on pause. So I think uh, Silver and Exop are just scanning the airspace, uh, talking about an SA-2. Uh, Panzer and I were just ready to pounce on on any on anything at the target. Panzer was hot at this time, about to turn cold, and I was about to turn in again. And the strikers are en route, and uh, they called their pickles. Uh, I saw I saw that at least some of Howler's bombs hit the target. Yeah, I saw that too. Some. Yeah, yeah, some, not all. I I'm not I'm not sure if all, but I saw stuff blow up. Oops. Yeah, I the, hit the uh, buildings, so it should. Yeah. The aircraft weren't hit like this uh, GBU thirty one V two that is not close to the target. Yeah, I think I had a fuck up there because I was gonna I was gonna drop them initially, Shit. and what happened was that I forgot to switch to air to ground mode. So <laughs> I had I had a target lit up and everything, but then I switched <clears throat> to air to ground mode, and by that point I was so far into the reticle that it might have happened that uh, I overshot. Yep. But but I did I did launch them at the same time as Tommy though exactly. So uh, who knows? Yeah. Uh Right, Eager. It looks like those were uh, on on the runway. So at least, well, it looks like about half of their runway isn't uh, isn't usable anymore. Just in time. J Interestingly enough, look at what's <laughs> happening here. <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> Should have killed, killed one bomb, right? Thirty <laughs> seconds later, and you would have uh, had at least one MiG twenty one right below you. So there's Tau turning in. Awesome. Look at him. Cool shit. There's the pickles. Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we'll look at that. Luckily, luckily, the SA8 wasn't uh, wasn't shooting. Or luck for you, because like I, it w w wouldn't behave properly. All right. Nice. That looks like a nice spread there, Tal. Yeah. Beep, boop, yeah, beep, it was boop. serious. There we that go. Uh, Rebel. That was Finally, I could use it. <laughs> yeah, good job, good job. Yep, the SA, uh, the SA, SA eight popped up again. I saw it, and uh, I just pounced on it and launched the harm as quickly mm -hmm. as I could. TOO mode. Uh, yeah, I was a bit worried about it when I was commencing the <laughs> SA eight on their WR. Yeah, we went on it as quickly as we could. Uh, okay, so at this time. I've I heard a couple of Jackson calls I think uh, from Holler three at least and then Spear six as well which I could double check later. 
Uh, and at that point, I think I called uh, Panzer to rejoin and called uh, a Rage as well. No, this is where the fun begins. But this is where the fun begins, yeah. Which so should I'm... never have happened. No. So mm -hmm. you guys are R2B, which is great. Well, uh, we, we turned around at some point because we weren't sure, you know, we did turn back. I had a couple of nails and I told my buddy to Buster just uh, just to get out of there. And Tao and Jaeger should be getting out of there as well, which I think they did. Yep. They were just reforming. Yeah, just reforming. I had a pop up SA6, I think, over here. It looks like mm -hmm. this. Oh, it is in there. So I launched uh, one. I switched to self protect mode just quickly. So I thought that's going to be close. Oh, that's good. Okay, good. That's no longer a problem. And at this point, uh, I was actually expecting the tridents to rage as well. <laughs> Whoa, they went uh, very balls deep. <laughs> I see. He did go. So what was what was your um, consideration here, Silver? I I didn't know how far out you already were, so we basically wanted to to cover your retreat. We saw two contacts, which yeah would have been no problem. But then it turned out to be four, which became a problem. Yep. Yeah. I think I had, I think I had called Rage at this point. Uh, I don't know what your distance is from these boys. Oh, of course, uh, it was about twenty miles. Yeah. Okay. It's it's thirty. Yeah, inside the Satan bubble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and I called out that I have eight contacts all heading towards you. Uh, I never heard that call. Okay. I did. So yeah, I, I see the intent to, to cover the rear. Uh, I think in hindsight, just uh, next time, uh, just get out of there. If if they're at uh, 25, 30 miles and you guys go buster in your Tomcat, it's only a short hop to that uh, Hawk, I'd say. They'll yeah. never catch you. It just the thing is, we just thought it's going to be two. By the time we got the call, it was a lot. We were basically, you know, already committed to, to the kill. Okay. And it's kind of hard to break off when you're just about to shoot. Um, so yeah, yeah. You, you guys, you, you guys were lucky there that the SA10 <laughs> just wouldn't shoot because you were inside this bubble easily, and he just uh, free, refused to shoot. Okay, so that was that was an interesting uh, interesting decision, uh, nonetheless. And uh, you guys uh, go for the uh, commit, and we see four enemy aircraft with a couple here on the ground. And you guys start shooting at what is it? Uh, honestly, I only saw two. I never saw the other ones. Also because yeah, I didn't have, I didn't have the data link, so uh, I could only see what was in, right in front of me. Yeah, I switched to the ship data link because that was still just covering for some reason. Yeah, the, the A2 wasn't online. All right. Okay, that's good then. And why didn't you guys shoot the um, uh, Phoenix? Is at well, 30 miles. I couldn't yeah. because my Og9, uh, my WCS ah. couldn't work because the INS was out. We also took a bit uh, to sort, and the idea was to shoot them in active mode and then turn around. And for that, you want to be a bit closer. And this is a fuck up by me. I have selected the wrong weapon. So instead of firing a, a Phoenix, I fire a Sparrow, which of course there is. Nothing. But then I fucked <laughs> up too, also. Because uh, instead of uh, I completely lost the situational awareness, and instead of the turning back, uh, I went, uh, I pushed, and yeah, I got back. But uh, I was, I only saw two contacts. So uh, uh, what hit me came from something I, I didn't even know existed. All right. <clears throat> See, I was turn, I was turning back here because. Uh, I never saw this contact. Never. Okay. Yeah, that, that was pretty shitty. Um, also, one more thing: it maybe would have been better to stay for yourself and just just to have a like, bigger coverage with the radar. You know, the closer you get, the less you get from the cone. So this was. You... Uh, yeah, but. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's easy. It's easy to I, get I, the I tunnel vision at this that point, but uh, basically. 
you know, heading north for more than a couple of minutes and you're inside one hell of a yeah. hornet's nest. Yeah. How, anyway, how was, I was, I was turning was away week? at that point. But how? yeah, uh, I just, I didn't know that those MiG-29s existed. How was the, um, the sweep briefed? Like, what was the game plan? The game plan uh, was to sweep go north. And, uh, basically, we expected targets to come from Kalkalau or whatever it's called, because that's the airbase we're bombing. So I guess, okay, this is where they're coming from. But nothing came, okay, so then we turn north and see if there's fighters coming from there. And still, not, but the game plan would have been to, to fire at about 25 miles. To oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, I had to drop some stuff, and um, basically either force the bandits cold or shoot them down. But uh, yeah, that was the plan, you know, to sweep north. Yeah, take yeah, taking an account that I I could only shoot in active mode, boresight mode, practically. Yeah, well, I think I found a way to repair INS, but you have to jump into the rear seat. Yeah, I talked about that with Silver while flying, but uh, yeah, mm, a little bit too busy. Okay. I mean, so you, usual Tomcat stuff, I guess. I mean, you should yeah. have fixed no. it at the Alpha point, to be honest. There was a the time to fix it. Uh, yeah, well, if. Mm, yeah, there was no time because XUP had to run. Catch, right. Catch me. Okay. I think, I'm not sure, but I, I think that. Fucking jumping around the carrier might have some negative effects on the oh, INS. Yeah, by the way, that, that was horrible. Yeah, yeah it, yes, it, it, it was. was worse than usual. Yeah, there were four uh, carriers in a mission. That, that, yeah, that's it was because, like yeah. It is because of the of the wind at the pitching deck. It yeah, it was not properly wind, I synchronized. I think anything above fifty knots is, is a no go at this point. It was yeah. surprising because I was not. Jumping at all. It was super stable for me, which is surprising. <laughs> it's so, so fucking annoying that they haven't fixed it because it had basically since Supercarrier release, everything has been fine. And then they took away two cats for like a year. And, yeah, and then this came in, and this has been in for what, six months now at least? Oh, I think. I'm saving my ass there. Welcome, pal. Yeah, so I called on the radio. Uh, do, you need, do you need my help? And then. You said something like, yep, that'd be nice. That'd be nice yeah. Yeah. So I saw I splashed that one. So I'd, I knew there was another one because Overlord had called it, but uh, I didn't see it at that point. Uh, Punzer was trying to uh, hook up with me, but somehow we kind of got split here. I don't know why. I got a call from um, Magic with... You're right. Uh, that was it. A bra. Yeah, <coughs> because at that point, you both guys, you were split, and I just decided, okay, I get, because if you would have stayed on your original path, I assumed that uh, you maybe got a shot, shot in the back or something, so I thought it's the better idea to just vector you into the threat so you can fight it. Look at that. Ah, synchronized stuff here. Didn't you see them, or why didn't you return fire? Oh, well, yeah, we couldn't find them, and I got... Yeah. And this is also one one point that made it very difficult. We were at three thousand, and the, the the targets were pretty down low, pretty close. Uh, I know you can set it with gesture and altitude, and, but but still, it's the more the altitude differences, the more the look down angle, the, the more difficult it becomes. That that made me Wait, but I think wonder, I already splashed one me, before. That no? even made me more wonder why you guys were commencing so far north. Because I thought, okay, if there's something taking off out of Damascus or something, they they never see it. Yeah, yeah, they we were already that. engaged before. This is no, not you. I've, I'm talking yeah, yeah, about no. tweet before. Things, things happen really fast, you know, flying like one minute or two minutes north, which is not that much time, already gets you like. 15, 15, 15, 20 miles out. So this is also something that I have to keep in mind that things happen fast. Uh, and while you're busy looking at your radar scope and sorting targets, you're before you know. That's that's why I asked what the game plan was before, because that's exactly what, for that reason there to yeah, avoid what, what such situations. the situation. game plan is to keep enemy fighters away from strike package. Exactly. Yeah. And for yeah, but... that reason, I'm flowing north and look for enemy fighters. Yeah, okay. I, I have a different uh, opinion on how to achieve that, but that's not my turn. Yeah. So it's... Yeah, okay. But, but what, what is the situation? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I fucked up. Uh, that's, that's it. I mean, in hindsight, we should have stayed further south 
Oh, that exactly. was just a distraction. Just the, <laughs> like I, I would have just said, like ten miles south of the airfield, and just lob phoenixes at everything that's coming towards you, just uh, to keep it okay. defensive. Keep in mind, I couldn't drop phoenixes uh, that far. I mean, without going single lock, and so yeah. having to keep the track. Uh, yeah. But you still had four yeah. four phoenixes that could. Two. Yeah, no. but they could not. Yeah, no, they could not. I, yeah, but I couldn't two, guide even them. Two, since you only, yeah, but two, even two, since you only saw two targets, would have been the proper thing. If you stayed south in the first place, you would have never come into the situation that you yeah. would have committed after everybody else was RTB. Yeah, that's sure. That's sure. Oh, no. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't like to look at this. Yeah. That is, anyway, that is, sincerely, uh, I never heard, I never heard rage. Oh, a 24T, that's ass. that's an asshole. Like, oh. wow. I think this guy was already smoking. I guess we already engaged him and uh, disregarded him because we were thinking he was going down. And he keeps pushing. It's a brave <laughs> sucker. It's, it's, it's the Iranian ace again. You just tell him. <laughs> Yeah, I got calling first, so uh, I let him take it. Boom. He's still flying now. Yeah, Hello. but there's like, I think he's. Where is he? No, he had no. another missile. <laughs> you guys were he, aware of he, each he, other? He, he yeah. was not, uh, not, not sent Most of the time, yeah. Bombs. Well, was also, like like pretty pretty surprising for me that I most of the time knew where he was. Very good. That's the training paying off. Where do these guys come from? Uh, from town? airfields yeah, yeah, fifty miles north. The, the tell. Recommit back east or how did they catch? No, you? they they just that the um these Can two you... were another flight, and they take took off from another airfield. And they recommit because you guys <laughs> were bound up in the north, and they. And I just decided, okay, either I let you guys die up north, including Wolf 2, or I recommit everybody to create a wall of fighters to f like fight everything that was coming at you at that time. And that is why I turned every flight around okay. and vectored them into targets. Can you can you go I'll back to see my kill? Was hmm? that Tau? Yeah, go back to see Tau kill. So we skipped one engagement. This one? No, no, no. Way back. Keep going back, keep going back, keep going back, keep going back. Yeah, you see? There we go. There was one from here. Okay, so I was, on. I was trying to find him and then ID him because I was not sure if that's funny or not. All right. Oh. Just like in Desert Storm, huh? <laughs> this is scary. The Fox one. All right, interesting. What I thought was uh, confusing for me is um uh, um uh, later on when you told Wolf to two about the bandits. Where where's Wolf to two? Already, already dead at that point? No, up oh, north. Up north. Oops, yeah. There he is. And because you you called somebody was merged with that bandit, mm -hmm. but he was actually the bandit was actually super low. Yeah, but they that, they were as well. Like in my in my mind at this point at this point that Meek twenty three was up here. Okay. Because it's um, I think I, no, yeah, I, I meant the other Meek twenty three that's with Tau. Okay. See? Okay. That that's where I made the merge call, and then I think I made later I made another merge call. I think there when uh, Panzer merged with the other Meek twenty three. Okay. Because yep. I mean, I saw it on the F10 map, but it's just to pretend it to use an actual like lot ATC or something where I can't have like a supervision, right? So I yeah, just caught like inside two miles. I just said merge. But here you see the danger of sp splitting up, uh, splitting up a guy because he's yeah. just he's basically on his own here against potentially two guys with no support from yeah. me. But you guys were split up earlier. And yeah, I, but like yeah, but we could have rejoined here. Yeah. Yeah, that, I, uh, yeah, that could be like I don't know when I split you up or when when I told him that he 
has a uh, fighter coming at him. Yeah, I don't so know. Maybe know. it was only yeah. here, but but yeah, uh, I mean, I if could we have... had a choice, we we should have we should yeah. have actually stayed together for um, yeah support. It, it was it was a bit hard at that point because I actually had to look at like uh, two or three fights at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's busy. That's but just, you're right. Uh, I could, just a learning it point. Probably the smarter decision to let him flow south, flow south or yep. south, uh, southeast, and rejoin. I could have turned in. Yeah, I could have waxed uh, one of the like Howler or or Spear to assist. That could have worked as well. All right, so uh, so I guess some lessons uh, learned there. Don't probe too far into enemy territory. Shoot the phoenixes when you can, and uh, keep uh, mutual support whenever we can. Yeah, I use the data link waypoints to uh, form a line not to cross, just north of the airfield. Oh, ground surface target. Off we go back to the boat, which was, and then to the other boat, and then to the other boat. Honestly, uh, I didn't even know how far, how far north I was. Okay. I didn't but, have any waypoint. I didn't have any yeah, waypoint. Yeah. But, but basically, but, uh, just, basically, basically, you could, you you could have almost known where the uh, the target was, and basically, you 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 shouldn't have gone yeah. beyond it or not far. Yeah. Sure. But, uh, uh, just uh, just a question here, because we had a thousand carriers, right? What did you guys use to make your SDMs? Because if I recall correctly, there is not a carrier in the mission planning template. You're so how right. so how, how did we end up with three fucking carriers? That could be me because I uh, tried to fiddle around because I got two Spear <laughs> Six SDMs, right? One from Silver, and two hours later, one from Tau. And if they both were fucked up, maybe, I don't know, that would explain two, right? And I just then tried to troubleshoot <clears throat> that. I found the, uh, like, and then rolled back to an older version, which fucked, the, fucked up the tankers. So, yeah. But any, anyhow, regardless, one thing is the SDMs that needs, of course, from now on, people need to use the clean ones, and there is no excuse not to, because now they're uploaded, right? And they're not set to immortal. And they don't have any hidden units in them. Yes. Yeah, and also maybe the the timeline for delivering this shit so this stuff can be deconflicted should be earlier because you know making the mission five times uh, five minutes before we take off is not ideal either. I mean that's the thing. I was supposed to be just a wingman this mission, and just uh, Mr. T. Mr. T. called it today that. Uh, He's not gonna fly and he has no mission, so I have to do it something in one hour. So yeah, and I, I never actually lead mission the mission before. So uh, it's the first yes, time yeah, you know. have. Uh, but that was anyway. It, that that was not like like this this SDM. It, we, we, I should have said to you, no, I won't implement yours. You just have to deal with the one yeah, silver sent. Yeah. Um, well, listen, learned. That's why I was surprised that I so not as you actually implemented mine in the end. Because I didn't even know it was mine until I was in the cockpit. Yeah, I, 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 that, that was all the fiddling around. After that, like, I was so under pressure time-wise because, like, you noticed, like, after after I finished my part of the briefing, I went back to mission building, <laughs> right? And then I finished the mission, uploaded it, so and then Rod started the server later. The problem was <clears throat> I couldn't like distinguish which or which um, Spear 6 STM was, was whose, because they were both named the same. So then I, in theory, had to re-download it and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, it was all just a bit mess. <clears throat> and what about the tankers? Yeah, that's because I rolled back to an older version of the mission, where I hadn't changed the tankers, the tanker tracks. Copy. After all the right. first time, but then there seems to be something I fucked up after that again, so I, I can't even... I can't track what I fucked up while yep. putting the yep. STMs together. Yeah, so long story short, basically check your fucking STMs and let's settle the missions uh, earlier when able. Just for, just for everyone involved, the mission maker and uh, the participants as well. Yep. Very good. Okay, so we recover. Uh, everybody gets... Well, some of us get <laughs> tanked with pretty low stakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah uh, do it. Zoom some in on me. Some lower than others. <laughs> uh, 
I think you you guys had a mishap at the tanker, or what no? Happened? He just we no. just sucked him dry. Apparently, we, yeah, oh, sucked him. And then he he just flew, but he, fell back. <sighs> yeah, he yeah he it was like a lag spike. He suddenly went from two five zero knots to to zero knots. Like he uh, just he just fucking disappeared over the horizon. And, oh, that's but that, what happened. Yeah, but that's not that's not the the problem because we both had gas at this point. Uh, but we came back. But the thing is, <clears throat> when when we were overhead, mother, I saw attack and readout. Yeah. Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I uh, we were overhead, mother, and I had attack and readout, which read two o'clock low, and I was like, "What the fuck is this thing?" And I looked down, and when I looked, because I knew that the boat physically was at my ten o'clock, and my attack and contact was at two o'clock. <laughs> So I looked down and I looked up and Tommy's aircraft covered my fucking <laughs> windscreen at that point. Ah. <laughs> and I just yanked it, yanked it for everything I had <laughs> and and there you go. <laughs> but no more stabilizer for Tommy. Mm. Uh, and and well, we, uh, we have a call for this. <laughs> and it's no but no uh, seriously we we call it you just say heads down. And uh, your lead says visual, and this wouldn't have happened. Yeah, maybe I fucking wrote the thing in the <laughs> manual back in the day. <laughs> yeah, but my stupid ass mistake, obviously. But uh, after that, Tommy, Tommy was able to control it, but the, I was leaking fuel, and my flaps were down, and my gears were not, so hence the ejection thingy. That's, uh, that's R-rated. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, good hook, Fred. Yep, good hook, good hook on one. <laughs> All right. Like how you still did a classy barrel roll there, but yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. So yeah, I think we all heard uh, what happened with the control ejection. Uh, bef before that, uh, let's see where we are. So that's the way you have to do a control ejection. <laughs> yeah, he was a bit low actually, but. Otherwise, space X up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. At this point, I entered the stack. I saw that I heard actually that they were already commencing. I saw silver, so I just came in at Angels 2 straight away. Yeah, commencing was also very late, like two, yeah, three okay. minutes late. Yeah, well, again, first time I actually was back in the deck. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. No, it's it's just as a learning point. So try try to be here at four and a half minutes uh, prior to deck opening. Yeah, okay. The time it should work out. Yep. Okay. And then I started commencing behind silver, and I was a little bit close, but I thought there's nobody else anyway, so I'll just keep it. And at that point, I was told to climb back to two thousand because of the controlled ejection. And uh, then I actually saw red eye. Yeah, I I waved off Jaeger. I think he never heard it because he yeah, there was uh, during uh, the stack someone uh, uh, just uh, changed the uh, radio back to to mother. So okay, I had you on tower cool. first, and after that I didn't hear any calls. I was even surprised that we going down to two and never figured out that I was on the wrong channel. Okay. Wow. So Kag borrowed the F eighteen, and uh... yeah, there wasn't yeah. like like was a brave ejection that low. With the aircraft right below you, <laughs> splashing into the water. Yeah, it was uh, interesting. So I I saw Silver and I thought I'm close anyway. I'll just hook up with him for the uh, recovery. Uh, I think two Tom. Uh, yeah, the two Tomcats had already trapped. Uh, so uh, it was us, and then Tommy was somewhere behind us, getting ready for the straight in. Were you doing case two or? Basically, yeah. Okay, because I, I was hearing the ball yeah, basically, basically case three, yeah. Okay. And sadly, I had to uh, fly, let you fly a circle because uh, silver mm -hmm. bolted. Well, yeah, someone called a waiver. Who was that? I, I waved off Jaeger because he was actually way too close to you. Oh, well, he was on the wrong channel, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was hard to do. It was hard to do the beam distance. Mine was all fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> me too. This this goddamn wind. So I did it kind of by uh by sight and uh. Yeah, the wind was kind of fucked. 
it yeah, was, was like... 25, 25 knots of wind, yeah, which gave 40 us... over deck. Yeah, 40 over deck for some reason. I don't know why, but it was 40 over deck. Yeah, but I wrote 33 knots over deck with 38 gusting. So, and after two hours of mission, wind can change. It was 40 when I spawned. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know that it was 40. I felt it, it was when planned, I was. Uh... It was planned for 33, between 33 and 38. Uh, beep. Good job. We'll forgive the one wire on that one. Was it a one wire? No. Yeah, it was. One oh. wire light on. You you were you were uh, good good on on the glide slope and then dropped in the end. It was really difficult to keep it for some reason. Oh, I guess I know the reason. I, I, I <laughs> guess without the stabilizer, it like. All right, shall we just wrap it up, guys? I, uh, yep. I need to go to bed. Uh, I think uh, fun mission, Mav. Thanks for uh, planning it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. I, I enjoyed it. There's lots of stuff to do and uh, some lessons to be learned, as always. So so I think that's good. Yeah, I have a very short comment. Uh, when when shit was going down, I was just listening to the comms and everything that was going on. And, and that was actually some, you know, the comms that I heard were pretty accurate you know it, it felt like i was listening to a radio recording from desert storm and uh, so that's that's pretty cool that was pretty immersive stuff and uh, that was number one uh, and number two can i just have two words with with mav and raj before you guys fuck off mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is this was the uh, package strike or just strike yes no package strike oh yeah the log good point yeah and and Tommy, I'll be back after uh, after a couple of minutes if you wanna if you wanna debrief and if you gotta head out, that's uh, that's fine as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna punch out because I am uh, pretty tired. Yeah, I copy. No worries. Thanks for flying, dude. Yeah, no problem. All right, good job, guys. Thanks for uh, thanks for showing up. It was nice. Yeah, thanks, bro. Yep. Thank you. Alrighty. See you guys. See you. Bye, bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Doodly -doo, doodly -doo. It's so hard to hit the button. Let's jump down. What? What happened? Raj, fuck off as well. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Fly safe. Catching the skies, cleared and switching.